guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Michelle and here on this channel I make mommy videos, so everything from baby updates to product reviews. So if those are the type of videos you guys like to watch, I'd love for you to consider hitting that red subscribe button so you can see every time I have a new video. So today I am back for another product review. Today I, is a video I've been waiting to make for a long time. So this is the my review on the Lollipop baby camera. So I have been eyeing this camera. I know a lot of YouTube moms out there use this camera and I waited to see and when I had my son I was like you know what I need a second camera so I do have a Motorola I can't remember the exact model of the Motorola but I do have the Motorola and I bought two cameras one camera was in my daughter's room and one camera is at my parents house and I thought oh I could just bring that camera here and I can just see them both on one monitor and that works perfectly which is why I bought that one when I had my daughter However, with my son, I did want to try out this camera a lot, and at the other camera, I've decided to leave it at my parents' house. So my daughter has the Motorola in her room, and then I have the Lollipop with my son. So that's why I bought this one. This one doesn't come with a monitor. It is strictly through an app on your phone, but I will get into all that in a little bit. So first, I'm going to show you the packaging, and then I'm going to show you the camera. So this is the package it comes in. I know it's kind of bright. It just says Lollipop Baby camera I love the box I think it's so beautiful I've kept it because I just love it and here it shows you the color of your monitor so mine is blue it comes also in pink and a pistachio which is kind of like a yellowy greeny color I don't know um, so when you open it up you would have your camera right here obviously I've taken mine out and then behind that um, it has the instruction manual, so it's just a card that tells you how to connect it, downloading the app, and stuff like that. And then it has these boxes here that have some of the items that you need. So like your charger, um, the little connector branch piece that you can put it on when you put it on the wall. So I'll kind of show you the different ways that you can use it and how we've had it in our room and how I've had it in my daughter's room. I'm eventually going to mount it in my son's room or attach it around his crib once I get everything set up, but I haven't done that yet. And then here it has like the... Um, it's like a stick, I don't know what to call it, it's like a wire covering. So if you have it up on the wall, you can put the wire covering so the wire's not exposed to your kids and stuff like that, which I didn't have up because my son doesn't get into that stuff yet. But that's what the box looks like with all the different products in it. So it's really nice, it comes in a really nice packaging. Um, as far as I know, this is available exclusively on Amazon. I've never seen it in store on any other website. I've only ever seen it on Amazon. So. That's what the packaging looks like. And then this is the camera. So right now I have it like this because I've actually been using it in my daughter's room and using the Motorola with my son. I will get into that story in a little bit, but it's just been sitting on top of her dresser. So this is one of the ways you can have it just sitting like this, uh, facing wherever. You can also change this because it can go completely straight. Um, you can kind of wind it around your crib, the railing of the crib. You can mount it on the wall and have it just kind of straight. So it can wind around a few different products like a lamp or like whatever. So it's really nice that you don't have to worry about mounting it on the wall if you don't want to because it's so flexible and can kind of move around. So this is what it comes like this is what the camera looks like and then you connect it through the app to your Wi-Fi internet because your phone is the monitor. So I'll get into that but first I'm going to talk a little bit about the design of it. So I love the color. I love that. I love the blue. If I had my daughter I would have had a pink one but I love blue because I feel like this is a very nice blue that you can use for a boy or a girl so I can use it for future babies. Um, yes yeah, so as I said it comes in the three colors the blue, the pink, and the pistachio. It has a very nice sleek design. I feel like it's not an intrusive monitor. Some monitors are so, um, cameras are so big and bulky and they're just, they don't look very nice. And so I really like the way that this looks. It has beautiful packaging as I mentioned and it comes with a nice cute little mount when you put it on the wall, which I will take a clip of because it's still in our bedroom right now. Uh, in terms of the functionality, it's easy to set up. You just basically charge it, connect it to your internet, um, 
connect it in your app and you're good to go. The app is very easy to navigate. It's very straightforward, which I really like. It has very good picture quality um, to see the baby. You can kind of scan around the room without the camera moving. As long as you angle it right, you can kind of go a little bit to the left and the right of it and you can like zoom in, which is nice. Um, it gives indications so you can, gives notifications and you can go through and customize your settings. So I kind of am going to go into the app so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to put it quickly back into my daughter's room so you guys can kind of see. Um, I'm going to plug it in so you guys can kind of see what the app looks like. Okay, so right now if you guys can see what it looks like. So this is what it's looking like in my daughter's room right now. Um, and it's facing directly at her crib. So if I go back to the home page, you can add a new camera at the top. You can do multi-view, so if you have more than one, you can kind of connect it. And then it does a function called audio monitor. So what the audio monitor does is that you can just have the sound playing through your camera, uh, through your phone, without having your phone on and like seeing your baby. Because once you close the app out, you can't see anything. So you can click audio monitor and it'll work just like a two-way monitor. So you'll hear what's going on if your baby cries or anything, but your camera, uh, your phone doesn't have to be on and the app doesn't have to be open. So it'll just play in the background, which is really nice. Um, it's saying it's not connected right now because I'm not using There you have the option to change how sensitive it is to sound, like how loud does your baby have to cry, how till it notifies you. So you can say you want it to be like very sensitive, so any little sound it notifies you, or you want to wait till baby's been crying. Um, so you can kind of change the sensitivity of the sound, especially if you have a sound machine going, you can change that accordingly. And then in the bottom you can have live view to see exactly what's going on. Mine is not really connected right now because I just went and plugged it. I didn't plug it back in. I just put the camera in there. But um, you can go through and see different events. So you can see an event where maybe there was crying detected. So at this point, my son was crying in the bedroom. So you can go through and see the actual video of when baby was crying, what was going on. And you can kind of go through and see. You can go through and scroll through the different hours. Like this is when my daughter was sleeping. And it'll kind of show you you know, the whole night you can go back and see what was going on with babies. So that's really nice. So if you buy the extra sensor, because I'm not connected right now, it, the app is not working as well. Um, but if you buy the extra sensor, it will tell you like the temperature, about air quality and stuff like that. And I believe that that extra sensor is $75, which you can also get on Amazon. Um, but you can see all those things about air quality and the temperature of the room and stuff like that through the camera if you buy the extra sensor. So most monitors that you buy, baby monitors, will tell you the temperature of the room and things like that. They don't usually tell you about air quality, which is kind of a nice thing here. If you want to check out those things, you can buy the extra sensor that goes with it. So as I was saying in live view, when you go in there, you can see your baby from hours through the night. You can go back to an event where they were crying and you can replay that clip to see what was going on um, and things like that. So that's really nice. Um, there's also like a baby gallery. So if you have your phone on, you can kind of like, <laughs> like take videos and pictures from when they're sleeping in there. Um, and then they have your inbox. So in your inbox, it will tell you exactly the different notification, like the event videos of when baby was crying. You can also have your notifications there. So basically you'll get a notification on your phone. It'll pop up and say, uh, environment is too noisy. And that just means like maybe baby was fussing or your sound machine is really got louder or something like that. And then it'll say things like Kai is crying loudly. So Kai is crying loud and you know baby is really crying and you can kind of go in and see what's going on. So even if I'm not in the app open, I'm doing something else, it'll pop up and tell me Kai is crying or something's going on in the room that I need to check on. So that's really nice. So you have those notifications and then you also have the videos. Um, you also have the ability to put the camera on standby mode, which is basically like if you're not home, you can put it on standby so it's kind of like it's turned off because otherwise the camera is always on, always recording if you don't do that. So sometimes I would turn it on standby if I knew we weren't going to be home and I don't want those notifications for other reasons. So right now I've had it in my daughter's room for the last week or two. And so I could put it on standby mode when she's in there playing so I don't keep getting notifications saying 
environment too noisy, so-and-so is crying. Um, so it's nice to put it on standby mode if you feel like you want a little bit of privacy and baby's not in there and you're a little bit concerned about your camera being hacked or something like that, you can put it on standby mode. Um, I mean, if you're concerned about things getting hacked, maybe a baby monitor with uh, app connected to your phone is not the best item for you if it's connected to your Wi-Fi because some people are concerned about that. Um, and so in your settings, you can go through and change your temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can check your event notification so you can choose, um, you know, when you, if you want it to notify you if there's issues with crying, um, temperature, humidity, air quality, noise, and then they have one called crossing which I've never used and I kind of think it's maybe if you want to set zones, boundary zones, so if baby comes out of that, like I guess if you have a toddler and they come out and they're moving around the room, it'll tell you that they're out of their bed, which I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of look into because that would be really helpful with my daughter since she just switched to a toddler. So it'll tell you when those notifications have happened. It'll tell you when it needs to have an update and things like that. Basically how the app works and what's happening in the app. It's really nice that you can kind of connect have different people connected to it. So my husband has the app, he can see if the baby's crying. It'll notify me even if I'm out and I'm not at home. I can see that he's been crying or he just woke up from a nap and it'll give me the notification and I'll be like, oh, he woke up from his nap, I need to get home kind of soonish, which is nice. So even though I can't go in and really check and see what he's doing because I don't have that Wi-Fi connection, I can still get the notifications as to like, oh, he's crying, he's up from his nap, things like that. My husband can get those while he's work at work. He can see, oh, okay, the lollipop's gone off, what's going on, and things like that. So it's kind of nice for me that if I'm running an errand, it will notify me, and then I kind of know I need to get back home in terms of like when he was smaller and I had to breastfeed him. It kind of gave me that window of like, how long do I have till I need to be at home? So, um, in terms of the cost, I bought this, it's, when I looked on Amazon, it's $199, um, not, I feel like that's pretty comparable to what you pay for most baby monitors, there, it's kind of in that normal range, if anything, I feel like it's a little bit on the lower side for what you would pay for a monitor with like a monitor and a camera, you would pay somewhere around 2 250 I would say is kind of the average for like a camera and a monitor so I feel like this is on the lower end because you're just getting the camera um, if you wanted to add the little sensor then of course that's an extra $75 I bought mine on sale for $149 so I was really excited it went on sale on Amazon so maybe check out and see if you're pregnant or you're expecting or you want to buy it for somebody as a gift because you think this is kind of like for somebody who's a little bit more techie and you think it's something they'd be into Check on Amazon, you know, a few times and see if you can find it on sale because I was really happy that I, I got that because I was really hesitant on paying that price for another monitor. <laughs> um, in terms of the pros and cons, I would say the pros is that there's no bulky monitor. There's no monitor you have to like lug around and charge and things like that. So if I were to have, say, one of these at my parents' house, I could just go there and know I could always use my like it's connected to my phone so I don't have to lug around a monitor as long as I have my phone on me and I'm in the house I can always quickly go in there and check and I don't have to be taking the baby monitor with me I love the notifications I love that you can set so you can determine the frequency so if your baby makes any sound you can hear it if your baby is really crying you can set it so that it'll alert you at those moments and not just for everything which is really nice in the night that it won't pop up all these notifications for every little sound if you set it that way. Um, I do like the picture quality. I feel like if you guys could see it, I'm not sure 100%, but it gives you a pretty clear picture. The colors are true to color. At nighttime, it's very true. Um, there are times where it does get a little bit fuzzy and there are times where it could cut out, which I'll kind of get into in a little bit because I'll kind of give you like, these are the issues with a monitor that is wireless, but um, otherwise it's easy to use, it's easy to set up, which is nice. You can also talk to your baby through it, so it does have that ability. I don't find that it's as loud as when you talk to them through another baby monitor, so like the Motorola, I find that the sound is a little bit better, so if I were talking to my daughter, she could hear me better. Um, I have been able to talk through it to like if my husband's up there, I can press it and be like, do I need to come upstairs and feed him? Um, and he'll hear me and 
and he'll say yes and I'll be like okay I'm coming so in that sense but you can talk to baby and you can also play music it has a few classical music options so you can play music through there for baby um, and the sound is pretty loud like it's a pretty good uh, sound that your baby will be able to hear over their sound machine and things like that so if you don't have a white noise sound machine or your baby likes to hear music you can play music through the camera which I find is really nice it's less items um, it's easy to travel with so if you are going to your parents house your in-laws house or wherever you're going and you feel comfortable connecting to the Wi-Fi um, with this it is easy to take with you because it's just one thing that you're bringing so I would feel very comfortable taking this to my parents house an in-laws house a friend's house I don't know about connecting it to the Wi-Fi of like a public place in terms of like a hotel or anything like that I probably would take a traditional monitor just because I feel a little bit worried about that but it is easy to travel with to those kinds of places that you feel comfortable with um, in terms of the cons I would say you're not able to watch baby constantly and use your phone so if you're concerned about being able to see your baby all the time while they're sleeping you can't be on your phone because you have to have that app open and it will obviously drain your battery um, but if you feel like you're content with you know just getting the notifications I could always hear my son if he started to cry so I didn't even need the app to tell me and I knew or I would kind of every once in a while I would open up the app and check in on him um, but that was my comfort level so if you're the type of parent you feel like you always want to have eyes on them then it's better to have a traditional camera and monitor um, and for people who maybe use their phone a lot for work and they're in other things it may be inconvenient for you um, there are times where it will lag or get pixelated and I think honestly that has to do with its connection to your Wi-Fi so maybe if you don't have good Wi-Fi or there's just something going on with the Wi-Fi you're gonna have issues with the camera and that's the kind of con of having a monitor that's connected to um, to your Wi-Fi it can also buffer for a while before it will show you so sometimes you're waiting for it to buffer and to kind of show you the picture and your baby's crying but you want to see like do I need to go in do I need to intervene you don't want to go in and the baby is not really needing you they're just kind of trying to settle so in that second in those moments you're losing time and I could see where that could be frustrating um, especially with a newborn uh, or a parent who has some sort of some anxiety around um, watching their baby and making sure they're okay um, again dependent on internet so it can cut out at bad times so I feel like most of the cons are not necessarily related to this camera because I haven't used any other baby monitors or baby cameras that are connected to your internet so I can't say if it's this one or if it's all cameras that are connected to your um, to your internet but most of the cons are connected to like if you have problems with your Wi-Fi you're gonna have problems with the camera so I'll give you guys a quick story as to why I kinda put it into my daughter's room um, for the last few weeks so um, a few weeks ago I switched my son from my bedroom into his nursery and when I switched him I moved the camera over so now at night I never had issues with having to check the camera because he was right there I could just roll over and check in on him so when I put it over I had two issues with it that made me switch with my daughter's camera and the first one is that the first night um, he cried and I did not hear the notifications I had my phone on I had the sound up Maybe I slept through them and it did make the sound or there was an issue with the app. So I'm not 100% sure if this is just me or if it was the camera, but there were notifications that he cried for quite a while and I didn't hear anything on my phone and my husband didn't hear anything on his phone and so we didn't wake up and he was crying and I felt so guilty the next day knowing that he cried for however long. Well, I did end up hearing the notification and then I saw how many other notifications there were and I couldn't even believe and I felt so guilty that he was crying and I didn't come and I'm sure he was like uh, when I cry you always come I felt so bad and I feel like that was an issue so that was the first night so the second night when that I used it I put the audio monitor on so I was hearing him through my phone even though I wasn't looking at it so I was like if the notifications fail me I can still hear it through the audio so that's fine so I did that well on that night <laughs> my internet cut out for some reason the internet 
didn't work and my husband had to end up going downstairs and rebooting it but the internet stopped working and so I couldn't connect to the to the camera and so I had no way of knowing what was going on with him if he was okay if he was gonna cry were we gonna hear him was it gonna wake up his sister so when it cut out I felt so stressed because I was like well I'm not gonna know what's happening at this point he was not sleeping through the night he was still waking up maybe two or three times in the night so um, he was having a lot of teething he was having a lot of like bowel movements in the night and we'd have to go in and change him and feed him and stuff like that so I felt more stressed because I knew he wasn't sleeping through the night and the likelihood of him needing me was basically a hundred percent because he was gonna wake up um, in the last week or so he has started sleeping through the night um, so I haven't had to get up and feed him or anything like that so I feel a little bit more comfortable about moving the camera back also um, I feel like because of that I can kind of work through some of those issues and just I just had that panic mode because it was all new him being in his room and wanting to see him and making sure he was okay so I felt like that was my issue with it so I switched it with my daughter's um, my daughter's monitor and so I've had the Motorola in here with him and this lollipop with her so I guess those are some of the issues that you could think about like is it good for you if you have a newborn is it going to give you more anxiety more stress when they're in their own room um, there's a lot of those options because when he was napping in the day I never worried about it but it was only when he switched to his room that I was like if it fails me what will I do um, so those are the things that you kind of have to look at those are some of the cons um, but I think it works great with my daughter. I haven't had any issues, but she sleeps through the night, so I don't really open the app to check in on her. Um, and obviously she would call if she needs me. So maybe this is better for a toddler or an older child who's, or like if your baby sleeps through the night. It just kind of depends on your comfort level, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of all the information. So let's talk about would I recommend it and would I repurchase? So with all that being said, I think this is a great product for what it is. I think with these cameras that connect to your phone or all baby monitors, they're great for what it is. Like you have to be able to accept it for what it is and for all its pros and its cons. Um, if you want to only occasionally check in on your baby or be able to not have to worry about a monitor, then this is a great product for you. If you're really techy and you kind of like that idea of everything being on your phone or just like minimal items, this is a great product for you. I think this is a great monitor if baby is sleeping through the night or if baby is napping during the day. I would say I wouldn't repurchase this monitor for a room for a baby who is not sleeping through the night and is in their own room. I think for where I was when I switched him over and when I was planning out this video with him not sleeping through the night at that point I needed to be able to know if he was awake know if he needed me if I needed to go in there and I needed to know it ASAP and I needed that peace of mind to sleep knowing that like he's not in my room like in that initial transition phase I needed that peace of mind to, for me to sleep and to know that I would be able to hear him if he needed me so in that sense I wouldn't repurchase this or I wouldn't think that this is the option for me now that he is sleeping through the night I do feel way more comfortable putting this back into his room um, because I feel like I don't need as many notifications especially during the day he's napping and stuff like that and then I don't have to have the camera running uh, the monitor plugged in and all that jazz with the Motorola I do feel more comfortable putting this back in his room now that he's sleeping through the night because I don't feel like it's going to give me any anxiety. So I guess and this is an interesting review for me because when I first got it I absolutely loved it. Now I see some of the cons having him moved into his own room. So I definitely think you guys have to weigh out the pros and cons for you. Really think about what you're looking for in terms of a baby monitor because that's a really tough one for parents, uh, especially new parents. It's a really tough one to think about which one is great for them. So I think that this is a great product. I think it's great for a certain type of parent. And if you think that it's good for you, I definitely encourage you to check it out. Make sure that you check and see if you can get it on sale. Um, if I do check out the sensor, I will let you guys know. I'll kind of do like a little update or um, a separate video to review the sensor because I am considering buying it just to see. Um, and I will let you guys know about that in a later video when I get around to it. Hi guys, so future me popping in here to just give you a little quick update about the Lollipop camera. So I have been using it in my daughter's room as I had mentioned, but I have been using the crossing detection 
cross, crossing detection feature um, so I can kind of explain a little bit more about it. So basically what it is, you set an area, a perimeter that if baby goes outside of that area, it will notify you. So in my daughter's case, um, I set it up for around her crib because she's uh, because it's now turned into a toddler bed so she can come out and it'll let me know if she comes out of that area, she's left the room, it'll tell me that there was a crossing detection so I know. Especially in the middle of the night, knowing that she could get up or she gets up too early in the morning, it'll let me know. Um, but you can also use it if you have a little baby, so if they stick their arm or leg outside through the rails, it'll notify you that they've stuck their arm out, maybe it's stuck, and you can go in there before they start crying or anything like that. Um, you could set it up so that if baby does stand up in there, so if the baby stands up and their head pops up in a certain area, it'll know, notify you that baby has moved out of the area. So I think that's a really cool feature. Um, I can kind of show you guys in a little bit exactly what um, it looks like and how her area is kind of set up and how you can set it up. The other thing is my app has kind of changed since I showed it to you guys. It actually, the night that I filmed that video, it updated my app and I'm like, oh, of course, it would be the day that I do that. So I'm kind of gonna show you guys what the app looks like now and some of the things that have changed since I filmed the first part of this video. So as you guys can see, it has my dashboard, it's got timeline and stuff, so that's my daughter's crib. Um, so if she goes outside, anywhere outside of this area, it'll notify me that there's been a crossing detection. Um, and so this is live and it'll show you things like the noise, movement, uh, you have the option to play music from here. They've also made this into like a night mode. Um, so it's like a dark theme uh, on it, which is kind of cool. It'll tell you how many events you've had. So I've had 16 events of crossing detection because sometimes if I don't turn it off during the day, she's in and out. It'll tell you how many noise, how much baby crying, or like how much noise um, is in the environment, and how many times your baby has cried. So you have that option, and then if you have the sensor, you have the options down there. If you go over to your timeline, that's where they'll show you the events. I can see the times where there was crossing detection, and I can go all the way as long as the camera is on. I can go back through the night and see what was going on and all the events like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, when you go here, you have your inbox, your settings, same as how I showed you guys before. The other option is that when you turn it sideways, it kind of adjusts. It'll do this and you click it and it'll show you a little bit of your dashboard. And then you have the option here to make it full screen or anything like that. Um, if you want to be able to see it that way. The good thing here is it'll tell you so far so good, like everything is good right now. You can go in here and kind of set in, set to Kai. You can go in and see all your things, your connections, private connection, um, and where you want to change your smart detections, where you go in and you, I can set my area. So this is where I can set my area for crossing detection. I don't know if you guys can see the red corners, so it'll tell me if she passes any of those, it'll let me know. You can set the decibel as for like how loud it can be in the room before it notifies you. Here it has the detection sensitivity, so low, medium, and high. Anyways guys, that is it for the little update that I wanted to give you on this. Anyways, back to my outro. Anyways guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Let me know what kind of baby monitor you guys are using. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, hit that red subscribe button so that you can join my little internet family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.